Let me just test my mic. Alright, so, um... This is the start of chapter 2, right before the open world. Cloud and Tape got to an argument before A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Okay. That can learn it later. More interesting to start at the moment. They give you a lot of options in this game, which I appreciate. If you're wondering why my game kind of feels stiff and trying to um, of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Graphics, man. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plane. Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? <laughs> Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. All right. Calm's a simple but beautiful town. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? <laughs> You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Aww. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Let's go. The most loyal dog out there. Oh, uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. <laughs> sure thing. thing. <laughs> the rook's got a backbone. Man, this game looks so good. All right. Business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Damn. Sure. Let's. For real? Yeah, smiling awesome. Well, man. Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? It's a, it's a I'll catch up with you later, all right? Don't forget, in front of the tower. I'll catch up with you later, all right? Hey there! Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, 
I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Let's see this. Oh, this is the stuff from Final Fantasy X. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Alright, so this is a Harry Potter section of the game, which is pretty cool. to bring you closer to that special someone to the only thing I like wish I did is if you can zoom in first person while you're walking around welcome oh while you're walking around but that is quite the weapon you got there mister you see plenty of action by the look of it but saying that it's still only a shadow of what it could be with a little love that baby will sing if you like I could show you yes please alright so it's got the um Weapon upgrade system from the previous game, it looks like. Oh, and we don't have a single sword from the previous game, which I'm alright with. See? what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and exactly. while you're here, check out what we got to offer. Alright, I kind of want to, like, see how far I can get with the, um... Ooh, I'll have to come back in a second. You take care of that weapon now. The bus is slow. I only have access to one ability, so that does not seem wise. Ooh, they're actually pressing the notes. I don't know if that's the right note, so someone's gonna have to palatate that. I was a supervisor. No, you tell. It's made from Sarah nuts chewed by chocobos. That's, that's disgusting. Troy was like made by chocobos. Again. Let's look for it. Cloud, over here. You know what I like about these Japanese games is that they like put a lot of emphasis on like relationships. Let's get started then, shall we? Like just like general relationships. Yeah, like gets you attached to like characters before you know. <laughs> I'm gonna be attached. Bruh. 
So I get the shades of those. Was it 30 stairs, 60 stairs? I think Midgar's this way. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. <laughs> Don't start saying that. <laughs> Don't start. Man, I'm not ready. <laughs> Soldiers is like, uh, no, you know the drill. Fly these They're looking for us, aren't they? Gotta be. Okay. 
Don't say yes, you can't walk off. I tried walking off. <laughs> Last game I saw cloud like four from like heights so many up. times. <laughs> the end's not much further. But stay on your toes. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. History with Shinra. Damn. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. It won't. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Ah, he's sick with black and fucking poison, I reckon. Alright, let's see how we do this. Transmutation. Only like a level headed person there. <laughs> Did Red 13 still just go through Tapers' legs? Because if so, that's gonna hurt. <laughs>
This is it. The open world has begun. This is what it felt like in the 90s playing this game. When you finally got to that urban world. Just look at it all. Man, it's the music so green. Well. It's like you, you just knew it was like special, yeah. You know? Left. Like a living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it. It's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. That's right. Left, go left, go left, right. What? Stop looking too far. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. Role in the like a roll button in a real game, or
up. <laughs> Bruh, this is so good. Just if I pop nearly break my ankles, but... Uh, full damage? Let's go here. Any mark? Right, let's go. Say it like that. <laughs> Like, like, I feel like <laughs> Cloud just survived the full damage there. I don't know why he was calling me. Alright, uh, should we be worried about those things? We're fine. That How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife can only attack while on the hunt in defense of their territory. Phoenix. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack. As I gather, yours can't. You'd be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shinra's forgotten it's even there. I wish there was something more I could do, but I ain't got the space to put y'all up. Swamp's your best bet for now. Seeing more fiends out and about every day. Watch yourselves here. Wish there was something more I could do, but... It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice and plump so they fetch a high price. This stuff here means feed for the animals. It's your bet. I'm gonna say I kinda wish Cloud could run faster than he realized it's a fucking buster sword on his back, so. Yeah. Respect the reason. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call me. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. <laughs> but I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lane. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. <laughs> you, uh, oh. know some place we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. You'll just head straight <laughs> to the the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Swing by the ranch once you're done with whatever you got going on. <laughs> Baron and uh, Red Thats, they just stand at that like nothing happens. The Baron's like, you can so. touch him. <laughs> just had to start acting up on me, temperamental old goat. What are you? Okay.
some Shinra's? Looks like. But definitely an older model. Back when they were duking it out. Yes! Hard to imagine this was once a battlefield. And harder still to find land anywhere that it hasn't been a battlefield at all. Technically, it's not a level 15, but, but besides the point. <laughs> Alright. I gotta appreciate how they um, didn't give you a little bit of magic for the old game. It would have been good, but like I said, if they did, they would have made this game like super easy. But I still had like built in tiers for like each magic material. Or like any each material in general. Ah, oh, imagine buying that at the shop! <laughs> Alright, I so said I want to do this with um, just the Buster Blader. Buster Sword. <laughs> but I kinda want all the abilities as well, so that's why I'm gonna pick that back up. Then I can use a particular ability frequently enough, no then sign of you get to be able to use that ability. Yeah. Looks yeah. like an old Republic yeah, landing. Sword to be equipped. So Good you can use a Buster bow. Sword. Make our way across. That ability. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? Wait. I mean, we could. He wasn't talking about us, right? That's <laughs> not. Then maybe we swim it. Never mind, he was. <laughs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> well... Can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> Man, the weather just got gloomy all of a sudden. If this is like a dynamic weather game, then like... Yeah, okay. <laughs> they really are them. Okay. Are you sure you want to fight? Let me see. 
Let's see what else is best to help. Pick up the sign. <laughs> Maybe we can later. Maybe we can later. <laughs> Man. Man, the weather could change, bruh. Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine-feathered friends by any chance? Right. Are we ever. Cool. Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though, chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. Yes. Nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Ah, uh, too young guy. He a stiff hard. Hmm? There's something I can help you with? Ah, uh, that'd be the serpent that lives in the swamp. Longer than a river, quieter than a whisper, and quicker than a lightning bolt. You know, that's Cause the uh, water to so much as ripple, the it'll version. come barreling after you. Even though it wasn't much, it it's still all. like, <laughs> it still knocked you out. It gives me chills it. just thinking about it. Yeah, it didn't look like much. Lucky for you, more. most chocobos can outrun the devil. Yeah, you, when, once so I'm track. sure you already knew that. Any man of the road would have heard the tales. And judging but, by that sword, you've been the subject you know, of a like few yourselves. Of course you have. Uh, territories. If there's one thing I know besides chocobos, it's how to spot a seasoned frontiersman. 
You might could talk to Billy over in the stables. He'll be happy to tell you all you need to know. But you're out of luck. Pops. Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. Yeah, no, right? These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <sighs> the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Um. Well, there is one other option. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Only cost you a grand. Uh, is what a scoundrel might say. I thought this was gonna be like the episode of Victorious with the Just so happens one of our birds Kisha. ran off the other day. Wild thing, Kisha? but still a fine chocobo. That's good. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. Alright. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. All right. Need something? Start by looking for fresh tracks. Once you spot them, birds are rarely more than a stone's throw away. Birds in the wild are much more skittish than kept ones. Gonna have to be real quiet on the approach, else they'll bolt. Gear serves all sorts of purposes, from the cosmetic to the practical. Can even improve a race bird's performance. Won't cost you a gill. Golden plumes only. Good luck wrangling Pico! Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. Nice. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but... He's been a real pain about it ever since our parents... left. <gasps> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then, do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, hey. not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Oh, Texas Ranger. Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Maybe. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye, also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Yeah, I will support the business. Not even sure what that does. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. Alright, let's 
Rita? Chocobo? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some tracks. <sighs> Alright, we'll get out the actual. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. <laughs> Clouds up on this, like, ah, oh, shit. Try again. Okay, uh, <laughs> you already know this is good. This has a big rock. Look at that. Father and son every year. Good bird. Oh, even it's a good bird. I can't listen. We had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Well, off to build the ranch it is then. Come on. I always wonder if Red Dead Jake can understand that like, you know, animals. Oh my goodness. I don't know why it's been painted up there, but <laughs> Jesus, it is. Just ran out there like no one's business. Didn't have to pay this half this way. It was popping up pretty good. Yeah, well, it's... <laughs> Not 
Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him this. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Wait a minute. Hey, my boy. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. Damn. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped <laughs> town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. I like how not a single person in the background is fun. Turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. Chad. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. I want to think that way. Stop it right there. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna save my game. I'll probably be back tomorrow to play this. Thank you all for watching.